back to JB Reviews. Today we're going to talk about the diesel exhaust brake on my 2019 Ram 3500. Stay tuned. When I started towing a trailer with my truck, I never really knew the differences between the full diesel exhaust brake and then the auto. So I wanted to kind of discuss that in this video. Now, I'm primarily always in full diesel exhaust brake. Full diesel exhaust brake doesn't necessarily mean that you have more uh, exhaust brake. It just means that it comes on whenever you take your foot off the gas. So whenever your foot is off the gas, like right now, you probably can hear it. If I hit the gas again, you can kind of hear that it's actually not on. But when I take my foot off the brake again, you can hear the diesel exhaust brake. So that's basically what full diesel exhaust is. I find that this works really well when you're sitting in traffic. Like I live up north in Maryland and we have like a lot of stop and go traffic on 495, 270, and even on 70 and 695 on those major interstates. And sometimes I find myself just wanting to stay with full diesel exhaust brake. That way when I'm coming to a stop, I can already have it working for you. Now, if you use the automatic diesel exhaust brake, it's only gonna kick in when you tap the brakes. I kind of see the auto setting more as like a regenerative braking like if you've ever driven a hybrid car or electric car typically when you touch the brakes the regenerative braking kicks in and that's kind of how this basically works too now i am going to move the camera over to the side here so hopefully you guys can see um this, the diesel exhaust working so stay tuned for that but like i said if you are driving on a on a straight road or you're not sitting in traffic the auto works really well because you can kind of control it yourself by using the brake so one thing i almost forgot to mention is you can use a diesel exhaust brake in auto going downhill it'll hold the speed for you if you like to have that control or have full control over the diesel exhaust brake using the auto setting might work better for you i apologize in advance i bought a new mic when i did this video assuming it would work better than my last one and it's actually even worse don't worry i ran over with my truck and I threw it away. So stay tuned, I'm about to get a new camera and a new mic for uh, my videos so my content will get a lot better. Okay, so currently I am in the full diesel exhaust brake. Now, if you do use this, I forgot to mention, using the tow haul mode does work really well together. So I'm gonna take my foot off the gas now and as you see, you can see the diesel exhaust brake is working. I do have the gauge there also if you'd like to take a look at that too, but let me speed back up again. size here holding about 28 29 psi all right let me go back into the diesel exhaust brake so as you see that's going to be full diesel exhaust brake right there and as i said if you take your foot off of the gas it's gonna pretty much kick in so here's again all right so if you were to use the auto so it shows you auto exhaust brake on. So I have my foot off the gas again. And then I, when I get to a spot where I can hit the brakes, I'm not gonna hit the brakes right now, obviously, but when I do get to a spot, I'll show you guys what it looks like. So whenever you have traffic like this, as you see this car just kind of jumps over without putting a signal on. This is when you kind of would like to have that full diesel exhaust brake. But right now, I am still in the automatic. So I'm gonna speed up just a little bit. And I'm just gonna tap it now a little bit. So I just tap the brakes just a little bit. As you saw, it just comes on pretty abruptly there. But if you wanna get the better fuel economy, using the automatic is gonna help with that too because you're not constantly slowing down that's why you want to try to really figure out which one works best for you in certain cases so like I said I normally use a full diesel exhaust brake when I'm sitting in like a lot of traffic like this this is a Sunday afternoon it's still pretty heavy traffic up here but but overall like I said just figure out which one works best for you with, with your foot off the brake it does not slow you down with the automatic so just keep that in mind if I tap it just a little bit like I said it just kicks in right there 
And I feel like the auto does use like the tow haul mode a lot better too because that, that downshift just now was pretty aggressive too without even using a diesel exhaust brake. I'm gonna try it one more time here. I'll just tap it just slightly. There it is. So yeah, like I said, it looks like the tow haul mode works a lot better with the auto diesel exhaust brake. It feels like it just kind of sh changes gear. I'm gonna switch it back to full diesel exhaust brake again so you guys can see it. All right, so we're back in full diesel exhaust mode. I'm gonna hit the brakes again. Yeah, it looks like the auto does work a little bit better with the with downshifting. But as I mentioned to you, if you take your foot off the off the gas and full diesel exhaust brake, it just comes on automatically. And this is the kind of driving that you want that on. So. Hope this was helpful. Just wanted to do it for you guys so you, so you can see how they both work. As I mentioned again and again, this is probably the best option for me is using full diesel exhaust brake that way. When I'm sitting in traffic, I can kind of like keep my speeds pretty, pretty under control without having to hit the brakes too much and keep my brake pad from wearing out too quickly and just, yeah, like I said, you're just gonna lose, you're gonna use a little bit more fuel, but I'm okay with that. See you in the next video.